but it's catch enough to me. I think I'll turn in now. Hey, uh, uh, Dad, before you do, um, I appreciate what you said. But you don't know how good it makes me feel to be here for you after we missed out on, on so much time. Uh, Hamilton, that's, that's ancient history. I'm very much a live in the moment kind of guy yeah. these days and you've been such a rock for me you know letting me move in here and managing all my doctor's appointments and medications even when I threw a fit about it cheering me on to do Chase's wedding when I was doubting myself and then putting up with my orneriness as I was trying to make peace with this disease. I could go on and on, but I think you get my drift. I'm in awe of you. In awe of the strength, the determination you've shown since you've been diagnosed and how, how brave you've been. And not just because you jumped out of an airplane, but the way you're still embracing life. I, I don't have a choice. Now is all I have. those out and preserve them that way. You just need to hang them upside down for a few weeks. Really? Yeah. I want to put these next to my bed because they smell so good. Will you help me tomorrow? You bet. Thanks, Grandpa. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetie. Wait, are, are, are you saying it's not necessary to tuck you in tonight? I can get in my bed by myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. See you guys in the morning. I love you, too. You okay, son? <sighs> yeah, I just, I, uh, <coughs> had a vision of saying goodbye to Violet on her wedding day. It's grown up so fast. Oh. Uh, not that fast. And don't worry. Violet will always need her dad. Yeah. That never goes away.